Not so quick. Who are you? Uh, who, me? See, you. What is your name? Slim. Slim what? Yes, Slim. So, you have run away from the States, huh? Oh, please don't send me back, mister. You're afraid of something there, huh? What is it? Pronto, quick, what? Senor, you're a very brave man to stay here in Mexico. From such a woman, I would run at least to South America. Howdy, Captain. When is this? Who are you? I'm Bob Hamlin. This is my brother Victor, yeah. and Slim here is riding for us. He's a mute of horses. She is yours? Sure, but I'm aiming to sell them. At the cantina down by the crossroads, uh, you should have no trouble to sell such fine cavalliers. Thank you, Captain. Oh, it is all right. I'm here to help strangers. It's a very rough country, senor. Many bad people. Is that a fact? Mm. I didn't reckon anybody would be tough with a man like you around. See, <laughs> see, it is most amazing, is it not, senor? Uh, you too look like a man who could take care of himself. Reckon I'll be all right. I got Vic and Slim here to take care of me. Well, uh, adios. So long, Captain. watching the stock while we go to the cantina? I ain't craving to go near that cantina no how. Why, you all blotter you. <laughs> when did you dry up? Oh, well, liquor don't bother me none. But there might be dames over there. I sure hope so. You know, I ain't never had no luck with dames. Well, I wish I had your luck. Oh, well, that is, I, I mean, keeping them off of me. Do you want us to bring you a drink? No, I got plenty right down here in the creek. Say, what did he tell us about water the other day? Son, if water will rot your boots, just think it'll do to your stomach. You boys go along, I'll tend to these Bronx. Yeah. 
Have one on us. Muchas gracias, señor. And if you hear of anybody looking for any horses, remember we got them to sell. Seguro, señor, I remember. Hey, stranger, what about these nags you're selling? I've got the best remuda you ever saw. Come out tomorrow morning and look them over. Where'd you say they are? Up the Arroyo, about a half a mile. Have another one? No, much obliged. I've got to be moseying along. See you later. So long. Go dry? No, but the horse got kind of careless in the water. Well, guess the drinks are on me. No, Slim, I'm fine. Think I can't afford it? Look at this. Ten years savings, twelve hundred bucks. Give me a shot of squirrel. You bad boy! For two years I've been waiting for you to come back. And here's the money for our wedding. Give me my bankroll. You wait right here. I'll come right back. You darn tootin' I wait. Bad stuff? Wonderful. Oh. Kind of mild for tequila. <laughs> Get the other boys. Come on. Down in Tuffalo Bumpo, where the chili is twice as hot and tortillas, they grow on a tree. Where the liquor is much stronger and the women, they are not. Who do you think the queen? Nobody but me.
with you. Come on, kid. Americanos, three by, one of the three vaqueros. Americano, there has been too much killing by Americanos. Who is it? No sé, señor. Uh. Why they're gone? Must be stolen. What are you smiling about? I'm just thinking of what a great fight we're gonna have when I catch that son of a gun. Well, I'll be a dirty drunk. Let's get going into town. Reckon I told it all night just to lose it now? Yeah, I got a hunch we ought to stay out of this town. We're safer here, Vic. There are no little rallies in town. Alto! Ah, the Americanos, eh? Where do you come from? Where would Americans come from? Across the border. This is not funny. It might be very serious for you. What do you think you do in this town? We generally manage to make ourselves welcome with our musical instruments. So you are the music for the dance tonight? Yes. If you musical, where is your instrument? Did you ever see a man on horseback carrying a grand piano? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see your instrument. Is this your instrument? Sure. He's the cook. He's a very criminal looking cook. You might pass. when I had that fellow sold on us, you nearly got us killed. I nearly got us killed? Say, who on Tarnation plugged that fella last night? Me or you? Well, Slim, don't you remember? Sure it was you. I saw you with my own eyes. Say, Vic, you wouldn't kid me. Honest, did I plug that guy? Absolutely. Now I am in Dutch. I can't go back to the States on account of Maggie. 
If I stay in Mexico, I'll be hung. And that cantina dame's got my bankroll. Oh, shucks. Sure. Come on, Slim. Our Captain Rurales. He is still a very bad man. Bandit El Gallo. A horse thief. A horse thief here? Well, I thought he went in here. I do not know any horse thief. But I did see him turn into this patio. And so, you come looking for a horse thief in my house? I didn't know it was your house. Well, you know now. Adios. Adios, senorita. But he might have come in just ahead of you. He might be hiding in here. I would have seen him. I think I'd better look around and make sure you're safe. Why should I be afraid of a horse thief? I'm no horse. But he's a bad hombre. I go look myself. Not exactly. Senor, you must go. But we haven't looked in the patio yet. And we are not going to. And unless you go at once, I should be very angry. Gee, I'll bet you're cute when you're angry. Mire, sin vergüenza, me hace el favor de salir inmediatamente de aquí de mi casa. Quiero que le diga buenos zapatos de aquí. Y no me vuelva a poner a que los pies en mi casa porque le va a ir muy mal. Sin vergüenza, pero mira lo más que ha traído sin vergüenza este. Cómo me cómo falta otra cosa aquí. Ay, yo no sé. Be very angry. 
angry unless you went. But I did go, so you can't be angry. <laughs> Will I see you at the dance tonight? Certainly not. I'll be seeing you. Starting to come across. Ah! <laughs> uh, I think we better run him off. I'll let him fight. Yeah. We ain't seen a good horse fight in a long time. <laughs> Come on, Pinto. Pinto? I bet you five dollars on the black horse. I'll call that. I'll take the horse. Come on, black 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 horse. Come on, Pinto. Eat him up. Tequila to make a killer out of me, eh? Well, son, I'm glad of it. Glad of it? Sure. I'm gonna get me a couple of quarts and then go back to Maggie. Hey, did you get that guy? What guy? Why, the horse thief, of course. Oh, that fellow? No, I lost track of him. How do you like this for the dance tonight? Gee, that's swell. Reckon a girl would like it? A girl? Sure. My best girl lives in this town. I'm taking her to the dance tonight. You ain't been in him before? Why, I've known her for years. You're crazy. Just as loco as I was when I plugged that guy. 
Where are you going? Down to the lake for a bath. And if you know this town as well as me, you'll hurry up before the water's all second-handed. Well, kid, I guess we better be going too. Yeah. You can't go to the Laguna today. This is Ladies' Day only. <laughs> Say, you still got my bankroll? Gee, I'm glad to see you, baby. Say, you're just in time to save my life. Give me a buck to eat on, will you? for our wedding. No. Help! Help! Oh, I have a heart. I haven't got a heart, but I got lungs, and this time I'll use them. me, Bob Hamlin. Oh, the Americano. I've come to take you to the dance. But you do not know me. I don't know you. Your name is Conchita Cortez, and you just came back from school in Santa Fe. Senor, <laughs> you learn quick. I know lots more about you. You do? I'll tell you at the dance later. Oh, but I can't go. My mother, she's not here to take me. But I am. That would be very improper. Conchita, come on. I'm very sorry. I can't go. Pero ya sabe usted que mamá no está en casa y se puede disgustar. 
What did you say? <laughs> Maybe. I have found the three Americanos. Where are they? Over at the dance hall, having a good time with our girls. Dinero, those gringos. Corporal. Orden, mi teniente. Take ten men and surround the ballroom. Bien, teniente. And if any one of those gringos try to leave, arrest them. How you want them? Dead or alive? I go and see the Capitan. Bien, he will tell you. Guardia! Guardia! Le damos el fondo. Firmes, de frente, marchen. So you spend the whole afternoon finding out about me. And I'm going to spend the evening the same way. <laughs> what have you found out this evening? Lots of things. For instance? That I like to hold your hand. <laughs> you are very quick to improve an opportunity. If I only had one. But I must have a reason to give such an opportunity. You see that mistletoe up there? No, I don't see it. Look again. I'm sure it's mistletoe. Oh, yes. She looks like a mistletoe. That's my brother. Will you excuse me a minute, please? One minute? I'll be right back. Come here, I want to show you something. There's the same bandana the horse thief wore. <laughs> Keep your eye on Conchita. About time somebody gave me a tumble. Like to dance? Not while I'm so thirsty. Now that you mention it, I'm kind of thirsty myself. Waiter, bring us some wine. Make it a claw. It's always a pleasure for me to take a girl away from a friend of mine. Oh, you know the boyfriend? We're the greatest pals in the world. We even ride the same horses. <laughs> I bet you don't even know him. I'll tell you what he looks like. All right. Small black mustache, ruddy complexion, always wears a dark hat, about five foot eleven. Oh, so you do know Buck. I was hoping I'd run into him here. I'll be right back. Okay. You better hurry up. She's getting ready to go home. Take care of this one. Oh, mean 
it. I had to see a man about some business. And I'm not through yet. I won't think of keeping you from business. I wouldn't think of letting business come between us. I've still got some important things to tell you. And the same thing you tell to all girls, maybe. Maybe. But I never meant them for. <laughs> I'll bet you've heard them before. Maybe. But this time, you're going to believe them. Maybe. I've really got to see this fellow before he gets away. You don't mind, do you? Indeed I do not. It is nothing to me. I'll be back just as soon as I can. I am not used to being kept waiting. But this time... <laughs> Maybe. I'll hurry. Say, this one's not gonna... Oh. Who's been keeping my big boy away from me? Just a business matter. Sort of a partnership I'm trying to form. Oh. Say, where's Buck? What do you care about him? But you saw him today. Suppose I did. I'm seeing you tonight, ain't I? Is he coming here tonight? You ain't afraid of him, are you? No. I'm just awful anxious to see him. Well, I'm not. Take a drink and get sociable. How's Buck's business coming along? Mm, well, says we've got a lot of money soon. I've got to see him tomorrow, at the latest. No, I don't care what you do tomorrow. Got to waste the whole evening talking about that mug. But I want to find out. Oh, I'm going to find myself a live wire. Wait a minute. Oh, that's better. Oh. Start your line and see if I like it. Good night. Well, I... Oh, well, I'm a... Well, I... Well, I'm thirsty. Please, Conchita. I told you it was a very important business matter. It is late. I must go. There is just one thing more I want to tell you. I'm not interested. But this is about you. Alto, blanco a derecha. Dos por Santa Guardia, Mateo Domínguez, cuide en ese lugar, que no salga nadie. Blanco izquierdo, izquierda, de frente. Archie. Oye, dice americano, is pretty much order. I shoot first and ask questions later. Honey, I wouldn't. <laughs> What's the matter? He tickled me. <laughs> say, are you ticklish? I'll say I am. <laughs> oh, please, please don't. <laughs>
bartender. What do you have, Parker? You see anything of three Americanos, no? Who? Oh, me no see, cowboy. Very, very sorry. Lástima no andar bailando como este, ¿no? Sí, hombre, ¿qué amor le hacemos? Tan contentos que andan, ¿verdad? Never mind. I'm through with business for this evening. What are you doing with my man? How do you get that stuff up? He's like you cutting in on me. No, you Conchita. don't. Conchita. No, you don't. You're not going to get away with this. No, no, no. Oh, pretty good for you. You want to play with I want to tell you about... I'm not interested. Go back to your blonde business. Please, Carita. Stick on me. Stick on me. Well, we got away. Yeah, and my bankroll came with me. Now we're through with dames. Has Slim come back with the horses yet? Nope. I guess I better go check up on him. Io te adoro, how I adore you, no love before you, querida mia, when you cut us dear, and your lips press dear, love I'll confess dear, querida
I meant that. Every word of it. After the way you have treated me, after you lied to me last night, I can't believe anything you say. Take me home. I can't do that. ¿Y por qué no? Well, I just can't take you home. You think you're going to keep me here, you? I'll give you a horse and you can go. We're not far from town. <laughs> a fine caballero you are. If I get home safe or not, does it matter to you this much? There's a reason I can't go back. You are afraid I tell how you carry me off. Afraid I make trouble for you. Afraid of the rurales. I'll tell you why I'm afraid of the rurales. They're after me. The night before I met you, I shot a man. If I take you back, I'll be stood against a wall. Then why did you stay in town last night? Why did you risk your precious life? Because. Because you love me, I suppose. Huh. I learn all your pretty speeches, all your beautiful lies, and I don't believe them. I'll go home alone. Kid brother. A bad spot, kid. You better go for help. Do you want me to get the Raleigh? Yes. But you know what they'll do to you. I'm responsible for her. I got her into it. Oh, but they'll stand you up against a wall sure and shoot. Put yourself in my place. What would you do? I guess I'd do the same thing. Hurry up. Boys, let's sneak around in behind you. Who are these men? Horse thieves. The ones I told you about last night. Then it was not all a lie. No. Keep out of there. But what's going to become of us? How are we going to get away? I sent Vic for the rallies. But you told me they will kill you. They will if these waddies don't beat them to it.
Let's get in here. Take a run at it. Come on. Here, Americano. Well, you got me. Very important man you kill, senor. Very valuable man. You know penalty for kill man in Mexico? Shooting. See. Si. But for the man you kill, senor, it happened to be a thousand pesos reward. And you have been most anxious to turn over to you these cash. Because uh, you have already given credit to myself for the killing of the bandito El Gallo. El Gallo? See, si. But the next man you kill, senor, be sure he is bandit first, not afterwards. Adios. Thanks for the cash, Captain. Hey, you forgetting who it was killed that fella? Well, it was me. You said so yourself. Now, you'll have to marry me. Maybe for that much money, I'd do anything. Let's go find a preacher. <laughs> 